Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. Watch out, watch out. I've been waiting for just the right snow to fall in Minnesota this year. We've had a lot of like one and two inch snowfalls, a snowstorm that goes north or a snowstorm that goes south, but never just that pretty perfect snowfall on a day when I'm free and my friends are free. But last weekend, it all came together. We had just a beautiful fluffy snow falling. It was a Saturday, it was above zero. And I called up my friend Tracy a couple days before because I saw the forecast and I said, hey, can I come over and photograph your horses? And she got her horses and a couple of her boarders horses ready. And we had some fun in the snow. Now there's a couple of challenges with photographing in the snow. And so I'm gonna give you five tips for winter equine photography. Tip number one is to have extra batteries on hand. When I'm out photographing in the cold and snow, my batteries last about half as long. And so I always like to keep at least a couple of charged batteries on me in warm pockets, pockets that are close to my body. Because even if a battery is just sitting out in the cold, it will drain before you even get it in the camera. Tip number two is to get yourself a pair of winter shooting gloves. So what makes these shooting gloves is the finger and the thumb pop out and there's a little magnetic closure to keep the part that you flopped out back. And this allows me to be able to thumb focus. Hope you're all thumb focusing. That might be a video for another day. And also push the trigger. And this hand, I usually leave them closed because I'm really not doing anything with this finger or thumb and they get cold when they're exposed to the air. I will put a link in the description below. So if you're interested in getting these gloves, you can grab them. Tip number three is to wear snow pants or coveralls. I have these lovely purple coveralls for when I'm doing chores outside in my barn. And I actually wear them at photo shoots too. They just so happen to be the color of my favorite football team, the Vikings. But honestly, it's really good because I can kneel down for a different angle. I can fall in the snow, which happens a lot. I don't know if snow trips me or what, but um, I don't have to worry about getting cold and wet and having to end my shoot early because I'm cold and wet. In fact, sometimes I get overly warm when I'm wearing those. Number four applies to if you're shooting while the snow is actually falling down. And it's kind of a two part one. The first part is, uh, I, and I pretty much always shoot with a lens hood anyway, but this lens hood, especially ones that are really deep like this, will keep a lot of the snow out. And the other thing is I made sure to shoot with this, the wind at my back. And so I didn't have the wind blowing into my lens, making it dirty. I had it blowing into my back. And so my camera was wet. I couldn't see through the viewfinder half of the time. Um, I can see now that things need a little cleaning, but, um, it is uh, also a good idea if you have a camera that's not weather sealed to get some kind of like rain cover for it. Uh, my cameras are weather sealed. My lenses are weather sealed. Not that I would stand out in a pouring rain or anything, but I'm comfortable just being out in the snow with my gear. I've never had a problem. Number five is to watch your exposure. So when the camera is uh, metering all of this white stuff falling in from the sky or on the ground, it's gonna tend to underexpose your images if you're not shooting in manual. And so you wanna make sure that you are being careful not to way underexpose. I will say I am generally a person to slightly underexpose because I wanna retain all the detail that I can. But uh, that's one of the bigger challenges with snow and then I bring the images to life a little bit more later in Lightroom. All right, now I'm gonna take you behind the lens from my shoot last Saturday and I'm gonna end with a slideshow of images that happened after my GoPro battery died. Thanks for watching.